boom, here it is right here. This is my brand new smaller twin nose deck. Makes everything so much easier. There we go. I'm making this video to show you my new complete. So you guys already know that I have my twin nose board out right now for the public. It's an 85 by 32.8, I believe, inches long. So 32.8 inches long, 85 inches wide right there. Symmetrical double nose deck, mold 10. So it's a little bit flatter. So the, so the pop is a lot faster when you hit the nose or the other nose. I really love this shape, the 8.5 twin nose. This is my signature shape and I've been skating it for a while now, but I've kind of gotten a little over skating an 8.5 deck. So I decided to make another smaller deck. Like, you know, if you've watched my stuff before, I skate a couple different setups for different tricks. I skate a smaller board for tech tricks and then I skate my bigger board to jump down stuff. So what I did this time is I made a smaller twin nose. Boom, here she is right here. This is my twin nose, same exact shape as my bulls deck, but my twin nose that is at 8.125 for my baby board setup. My little tech board, this is it right here in twin nose. Super stoked on this. This is a mold eight, so it's a little bit steeper than my signature shape. So this is gonna be good for like kick flips out of back tails, heel flips out of back tails, front tails, whatever you wanna do. And there should be a lot more pop with this because it's smaller, which means it's lighter. It's a little bit shorter in length. This is a 32.5 inch length right here by 8.125 width. This is a good one right here. I haven't tried it yet because I just got it made. As you can see, this is a sample. This is one of two samples. I have this one to try out and then I also have this one to try out, which is my exact same board, but all the measurements are scaled down. So this is a mold eight twin nose. This is only 32 inches long and an 8.125 wide right here. So this one's a lot shorter than my normal board and it's a lot thinner as well in length, really light. I think this is gonna have a lot of pop. So I'm gonna put this together with some brand new Thunder Trucks. I got the 148 Thunder Trucks right here. These just came out. These are like some of the newest ones. Should fit an 8.125 deck perfectly. And I got some size 52 Formula 4. These are the, the uh, classics, 99 Duro. It's good stuff right here. Smaller wheels, skinnier right there. We're gonna put that on there. It's gonna be a nice light, feather light board right here, nice and snappy. I'm hoping to just blast over everything with this thing. And then the other one, this original 8.5, this is for my hucking, chucking downstairs, all that fun stuff. But this one right here is gonna be the popper, the tech tricks, pop, all that good stuff. Let's put this thing together. All right, so the first one I'm gonna grip and try out is gonna be the one that's only 32 inches long, which has this graphic right here on it, this classic graphic. We're just gonna grip this up, 32 inches long, 8.125 wide, and we're gonna put on some trucks, wheels, hardware, grip, all that stuff. Let's do this. I got some special black shape jump grip. Just gonna lay that on there, like so. There we go. No air bubbles. I don't think. Do we got air bubbles? Maybe. Just 
twist around that. Super light, super light. Okay, next thing, shake jump bolts right there, Allen wrench, always, this is the easiest ones to put in. I like using the four green, four yellow. I'm gonna put them in the same scheme on both sides so there is no back or front of my board. They're both gonna look exactly the same, whichever way it's pointed. use a green bolt to pop all the holes just one of those OCD kind of things green on the right bolt hole right there we'll do it the same way on this side Green, boom. Then we'll go yellow, boom. Green, and yellow. We'll do the same scheme on this side. Forty-eight thunders right here. And we'll just put them right on there, just like so. Opposite color bolt. We'll do a opposite color nut. Next, we're gonna tighten the hardware. We got the Allen key right here. This makes everything so much easier. And also this shake jump tool right here makes everything so much faster. Let's put it in there, switch it to tighten. Then you just turn away till that hardware sinks into your grip tape. And you're good. Mm. So fast. Boom. There we go. And I usually like to do a once over to make sure all the hardware is perfectly sunk in the way I like it. It's still a little bit popped out. Don't want that. Want it to be flush with the grip tape. Beautiful. Just about. and flush to the other side then we'll put the bearings and wheels on and your complete is complete there we 
go. All right, for, for bearings, boom, shake jump bearings all day. The fastest, the best, my favorite. And we have Formula 4, size 52. These are classic 99 Dural. Nice shape right here, like lock-ins pretty much. These are really good, classic size. I like these. So this is nice and light. We're gonna set this up. It's gonna be my feather light. So I like popping the shields off of these bearings before I skate them. So I just get the razor blade. You just go right inside one of these little cracks and you just pop it out, boom. Nice and easy. Don't cut yourself with the razor blade. If you're not confident with the razor blade, you can use something else to take them off, but it's nice and gentle. Just pop them right out. Make sure to always take off one of the washers. Put it up on the top. Right there, boom. Sometimes I'll over tighten the wheel just to press the bearing all the way in. Sometimes the wheel's pretty tight. It's hard to get the bearing pressed all the way in. So I'll over tighten it and then you loosen it back up so your kingpin does not get stripped when you skate. Boom, there we go. Brand new baby board, twin nose. And boom, here it is right here. This is my brand new smaller twin nose deck. This is my first complete, first time trying it out. If I like it, maybe when they make my boards in a smaller size, We'll make them small twin nose boards like this. And you know, I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks a lot for watching and let's see how this goes.